an event that's sure to educate and entertain. The Black History Bowl is coming up tomorrow at Pritchard City Hall. Helen Wright is with Closing the Revolving Door Foundation. She joins us now to tell us more about it. Helen, good morning to you. Good morning. I'm also with the city of Pritchard, so I have a double hat on today. Hey, how about that? Wearing good two morning. hats at the same yes. time. Multi-talented. So tell us, what is the Closing the Revolving Door Foundation? Closing the Revolving Door Foundation is a foundation that was established five years ago, and we work with ex-offenders, homeless. We serve the public in any way we can. We are this a social group there for you. Sure. So tomorrow this event is taking place at the Pritchard City Hall. As we mentioned, what's the Black History Bowl all about? It's a Scholars Bowl. We actually have four schools involved. LaFleur, Murphy, Blunt, and Viger. And they have to battle to get that trophy and that prize. And I'm sure there's a lot of pride involved. They all want to take home the title. So what types of things will be discussed during tomorrow's Black History Bowl? You had mentioned to me in the commercial break we were talking a lot of questions and answers with historical. Uh, I'm going to ask yeah. you a question. What was a major health care practice that was brought to America by a slave? Well, I'll be honest, I didn't know it before we had this conversation, but it was vaccination. Exactly. Yeah. These are the things that we want to try to get our youth to understand. There's a lot of history in our black community. Mm -hmm. And we plan to bring it out tomorrow. So that's one of the things that's going to be taking place. Why is this so important and so impactful now in the times that we live in right now, but also during Black History Month here in February? All black history is important. We have not had the opportunity to have our black history taught in schools. So now we're just bringing it to our youth. So what do you want the folks who are viewers who are watching at home right now? What do you want them to know about this event? Are you hoping that they come on out to hey, take part? They'll have fun. This will be right after the mm -hmm. parade tomorrow. So we'll have fun tomorrow. We want to have some fun just sitting around. They'll need a break after all that parading. So <laughs> we're giving them a break. Well, it's important when you can combine history, learning, and education with a fun environment as well, because sometimes that has a greater impact, too. I want to say that Lee Peck is one of our judges. Hey, how about Fox 10's own Lee Peck yes. taking part? So that will be a lot of fun. All right, so where do the folks need to be and when to come on out to watch 216 this? East Pritchard Avenue at City mm -hmm. Hall and the auditorium will be waiting for you, so we expect you to be there. All right, anything else you want to mention before we go here this morning? Thank you, Fox 10. All right, well, thank you for being here. We know it's going to be a great event tomorrow. Uh, exciting that Lee is taking part and so much educational and fun, inspirational questions and answers going on mm -hmm. tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. All right, Chelsea. All right.